I'm going to show you how to make a fun brush for the spooky season. First, we're going to start with a square canvas and just draw a circle and fill it in with pure black. And then we're going to add another layer and we're going to go to our drawing into the Evolve brush with the same black color. We're just going to make a couple lines like this. And then we're going to swipe them to highlight both of them. Make sure your snapping is on and center them. Then we are going to turn off that drawing layer and just, you have the circle. Swipe down with three fingers and click copy all. And then go in and start a new brush. Go to the Apple Pencil and put the opacity to zero. Go to the shape, shape source, import, and paste. And then double click to invert. Click done. Go to your stroke path. And we're going to turn it down to um, about 10 and put the jitter up to 12, 17% and click done. Now we're going to hide that circle and, and highlight the other one and swipe down with three fingers and copy all. Duplicate that same brush and go into the shape. Import and paste that into that shape there. And then go to your stroke path and we're gonna space that one out a little bit more, about 25%. And then put your jitter down to 21%. And then we're gonna go to the shape and go to the count area and put it to three. Go down a little bit more where the little circle is, the two blue lines, you're gonna squish them together just slightly and click done. And we're gonna put that one below the other one and make sure you click on that top one and then swipe the bottom one and then click on combine. And then they're gonna to be together like this. And over here, you'll see them, you'll have a primary brush and a secondary brush. So when you're, that primary brush is highlighted, you're going to go to Color Dynamics and go to the Stroke Color Jitter there and turn the secondary color to max and then the Color Pressure secondary color all the way to max. Then we're going to go up here and click on the secondary one and go to Properties and then watch up there in the little thing there you can see when you move that how it changes it. We're going to make that a little bit bigger. And then back into the primary brush, I forgot to go into the grain. And we're going to put it to this grunge grain and make sure it's on texturized. And the scale is about 25%. And now we're going to go click on orange. And then see you have two different colors there in your color guide. You can click on black. I have orange and black highlighted. So you can pick just two different colors. And this is what it turns out.